together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? It's a red apple. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? Hmm, a red car? Yes! And what's this? Hmm. It looks like a red cat. That's right. What's this one? That's a red splotch. Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a red apple, a red car, a red cat, and a red splotch. What do they all have in common? They're all red. That's right! Today, I'm only painting red things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make red our special color of the day. Which apple is red? There it is! Red apple. Which book is red? There it is! Red book. Which umbrella is red? There it is! Red umbrella. Which flower is red? There it is! Red flower. Marvelous! I'm crunching leaves! But only red leaves! <gasps> I see one! Let's look for more!
Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue squares and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is blue. It is, but that's a circle. We only want blue squares. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue square. Thank you, monkey. Now let's gather all of the red squares. Okay. Here. Here. Here's one. Here. Oh, and here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow squares now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. And here. Great. And what's left? Two circles. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie. We've sorted all the shapes. Thank you so much, Monkey. What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use the two circles to make a mask. Look! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. I knew those circles would come in handy. <laughs> It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they're successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien Translated by Alicia Berger Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day... The story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! 
the ball flies across the garden. Dang! Oh no, the baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Even John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks, but the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying, too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called hush a baby And look what I have in my backpack. An electric bass. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Now this time we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! Let's do the monkey dance! Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a brand new dance you need to count To do each move the right amount There's a special number, the number seven Come on and count with me Get ready to do everything seven times! Clap seven times! Seven times! Point seven times! March seven times! I knew I could count on you! You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance Come on everybody do the monkey dance You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance Come on We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count. 
count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Bam, 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 bam. Let's look for things to count. Help you. Let's count pumpkins. One, two, three, four. Four pumpkins. Now let's count apples together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many in all? Ten? Yeah, you got it! Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the butterflies. Okay. One, two, three. So how many in all? Three! You did it! Thanks, Monkey! Hey, I have an idea. Let's go count all the crops growing on the farm! Yeah! yeah! That may take a while. See you soon! Let's have a pattern party! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Patterns repeat! Patterns repeat! When I say a pattern, repeat to the beat! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. Bye. 
time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. La 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 by Hush my babe and do not cry In your cradle now you swing Until you sleep I'll softly sing La 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 by Bye. 